Hi everyone, this is a collective reading. Um, if it resonates for you, that's great. Um, do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing each and every person who comes to the reading with a message from you. Clear, concise message. All right. So, um, this is the most beautiful collective reading I've ever done. Um, I got the inspiration to do a collective reading um, just today. And um, I said, what is the collective reading about, God? And, and he gave me the name of cups, or the page of cups. So, it's about somebody becoming emotionally mature, growing. Um, accepting proposal, accepting um, maturity. And then I said, okay, um, what is this person growing into? Or, or what is all of this really, really about? And then I got the judgment card. So this is about someone making a snap decision about a union, a partnership, a love, a romantic partnership, a, a love affair. Somebody finally sees that, you know, like, we either need, it's make it or break it time. You need to make some decision about this union. Are you in or are you out? Are you reviving it or is it dead? Um, somebody's also seeing clearly. I keep hearing revival, renewal, of course, reconciliation. And they're making some snap judgment in terms of this. What I got for the energy in the past was the uh, Page of Cups again and the Six of Wands. So of course in the past energy there could have been someone who was immature, emotionally immature, um, either consciously or subconsciously. They didn't know that they were emotionally immature or they, do, or they did know. Um, there was someone who love was there, but they just didn't know how to, to let it blossom, how to let it bloom, how to rest in that emotion, how to ask for what you want, how to articulate your emotions effectively. Therefore, in the past, Six of Wands, um, someone decided on their own ideals and their own principles and it was a good it was a good idea to leave. It was a good idea to get out of this. Um, and this could have been a new relationship or newish relationship um, where there were still other people involved. Uh, no one person, especially if you're over the age of, let's say, 25, is really single. Everyone has a past. Everyone has someone that is vying for their attention. You do not meet a person. And, um, you know, very rarely they have nothing going on and no one in their life. If you do, that's great. If you don't, do understand it is on you to stay to make yourself the best person or the last person, the chosen one, okay? Because it's your choice and theirs, okay? Um, but it looks like somebody said, you know what, this was too much for me. I'm not even emotionally mature to deal with all of this drama or this competition. Uh, I'm not emotionally mature to articulate what it is I need out of this connection. Therefore, I'm leaving. Um, and maybe there was a cheating scandal. Maybe there were there were other people. Um, there were other players in this connection, in this love affair. Therefore, somebody said, you know what? Um, I'll just extract myself from this because I have a... A high opinion of myself and what I deserve though I'm not able to readily articulate it I do have a high opinion of myself and I'm leaving and you can chase after me or you could not but I will get my vindication I will ride off into the sunset I will be the one who um, wins here I'll win this battle and that was the past here but now it looks like 
in the present, we have the Knight of Swords showing. And then we have the Lovers. So we have someone... Um, we have someone who is addressing their fears surrounding intimacy, closeness. We have someone taking some decisive action. At first, there was a difficulty to commit to the partnership. But now, the, the Knight of Swords understands that it's time to... Um, It's time to speak. So you make a fast decision here. Back to that judgment card that I was getting off camera. Um, needing to make some fast decision here in love. About commitment. About a romantic proposal. Maybe even this Knight of Swords will be making a romantic proposal to um, the perfect person. The perfect union. Uh, their ideal person with the lover's card showing up. Um, this Knight of Swords does not have a plan. They don't tend to plan ahead, but they know that they have to do something to uh, win this lover back. This would be a person who left the connection. Maybe even left for another person. They chose someone else. Someone else could have left because they felt like, I don't want to play the game of, you know, um, being one of your people, uh, one of your choices. I'm not going to be in competition for you. And then there was someone who left because they chose another person. And now they're back. And they're trying to convince the person that they left. The lovers. Another six card. Six of wands. A six card and the lovers. They're trying to, to come back to, to find that balance, that harmony that they have with this person. They understand what the relationship is now, how healthy it can be, it should be, if they would just make a decision, uh, a judgment about this connection and move forward. So the Knight of Swords can be you, it can be someone else coming back to you, trying to convince you that now they understand what the relationship means, what it is, who you are to them, that they want you. Maybe they chose wrong, maybe they chose other people, maybe they chose to be single, maybe you walked away and now you're going back and you're saying this to someone else. But the Knight of Swords is determined, determination. Strategic in terms of their word placement and convincing. So someone is trying to convince and win back their lover because they understand now. I asked the cards, I said, what is the destiny of this relationship? Not what will happen, not um, what will these two do, how will they mess it up? I don't know, you know, maybe it'll go well, but what's the destiny? Because um, there is a destiny, a destiny for most things, uh, especially in our lives, um, but it's about us choosing the right path choosing to do the right thing, and then we can meet our destiny. But it's already there for us. We just have to get on the path. So the destiny for this relationship is absolutely beautiful. It is uh, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The destiny is for you to, to fall in love, a real love, um, to emotionally mature, to conquer, to con to go on conquest with each other in this journey, learning to grow into either king and queen or king and king or queen and queen, whatever your, uh, whatever the denomination is, I don't know. Um, but it is for you to come together, grow together, do something together. The Knight of uh, Pentacles specifically talks about um, it indicates a partnership where both of you will be working towards your long-term goals. Um, it's deep, reliable love. It may not be as exciting, but it's reliable. There's no risk in this love because someone finally came to judgment about what the relationship is, where it can go, the destiny of it. The Knight of Cups talks about, of course, falling in love. 
um, the love of a person, romantic proposals, offers, invitations. It says keep a realistic expectation of love. Because the Knight of Cups can go from falling in love, going out of your way to show love, um, going far in the pursuit of true love, to um, leaving a string of broken hearts just because this person showed a flaw. Um, they made a break in, in the connection. Maybe they didn't call you back on it at this time. Maybe they didn't say this when they should have said that. And, and then the Nine of Cups goes into some unrealistic expectation of this isn't how it should be. Therefore, I am, I am gone. I have a high opinion of myself. I am resting on my own ideals. Okay? Uh, therefore, at my own ideals and principles, so I'm leaving. You don't want to go back to that energy if this reading resonates for you. You want to say, okay, it happened. Let's talk about it. Effective communication. Let's move forward. If it doesn't change, then we'll make a plan, a course of action. Because ultimately, it looks like destiny, the divine, wants to get you to the Three of Wands. Where you guys are creating a life expansion, expanding together, doing the work together. Where you're waiting to see the harvest come in this connection. You're waiting to see the successful completion of it. You're waiting to see what you two built together. But you can't do something together if you're not together. If it's easier to walk away than to stay. And it's always easier to walk away than to stay. So this is what I have for you. I'll call out some signs here. The Nine of Cups is typically Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. The planet that rules the Nine of Cups is uh, Pluto. The time it is October 3rd to November uh, 22nd. And of course, it is a yes card. We've got Taurus, first and second deacon coming up in the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, we've got Leo here. And I think in the third deacon, and we have Gemini, and then we have uh, Gemini again, also Aquarius. Um, and then we have the Page of Cups. Uh, let's see what the Page of Cups is. Uh, not exactly sure of the picture. Okay, so the Page of Cups is a yes card. Um, and this is uh, September 21st to de December 20th, okay? So... Um, It looks like uh, there's some things about to happen for you if this reading resonates for you. Okay? If it does, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also book your own personal reading at the website level. You can donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. If you took something from the reading, always give back if you're feeling moved to do so. You can also manifest corporately with people, like-minded individuals like yourself, uh, on this new moon coming up on the Lion's Gate 8-8. You can manifest new energy, new love, new money, new understanding, new feelings, new friends, newness, okay? Take advantage. All links are below, all right? Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.